Smoke Report has been made possible by our friends at phrase.com online community for smokers and vapor lovers alike visit them at phrase.com and join the conversation We're supposed to get along. hello friends and welcome to the smoke report i'm your host jay todd and what a fun show i have for you this time it's a tale of two countries really and we start in the united states where a U.S. Court of Appeals has agreed that the graphic and grotesque warning labels that the Food and Drug Administration wanted to put on cigarette labels are in fact a violation of First Amendment rights and as such unconstitutional. Makes me want to do a happy dance. A little awkward, but I'm working on it. Now, I can hear all those anti-smoking crusaders out there get more and more pissed off about this, and that's okay. Because those silly suckers have won so many other legal battles in this country that smokers are now treated like lepers. But not even they have the ability to override free speech not even they have the ability to pull it off, even with the FDA on their side. However, jumping to the other side of the globe, a high court has upheld a ban on cigarette packs, which not only show disgusting photos, but prohibit the manufacturers from even putting their own logos on their own labels. And where is this happening? Communist China? North Korea? No. Freaking Australia. Australia. A nation founded by outlaws and renegades. Allowing this to happen? I am shocked. Do they have a constitution in Australia? Do they have free speech or the right to choose? Hey, all my friends down in Oz, how the hell could you let this happen? Huh? We'll be back in a minute. from Onassis Cardiac Surgery Center in Athens, Greece has found that uh, electronic cigarettes do not raise health risks for your heart. In fact, they are significantly better for your heart than smoking tobacco. For somebody like me, who's already had one heart attack related to diet, not smoking, this is good news. You see, I don't have to give up e-cigs, just bacon. Wonder if they make a bacon flavored e-cigarette. Huh. I'm sure someone's working on it. Uh, <clears throat> finally, a study from Wisconsin has found that secondhand smoke has dropped in that state following a smoking ban. Now let me repeat that because it's big news. A study in Wisconsin has found that secondhand smoke has dropped following a smoking ban. Yeah, there you go. Not really earth shattering news. I just wanted to show you all what the state spends our tax money on. 
In a related story, Wisconsin officials also discover water is a leading contributor in drownings. Come on, people. I'm going to go drink some bacon-flavored vodka. Thank you all for watching The Smoke Report. Supposed to be my friend.